Chapter 4 Mass, Weight, and Density This video is brought to you by Ace with Dennis. Now, learning can be smart, not hard. Don't forget to subscribe and press the bell notification button to stop missing out important updates from us. Mass and Inertia Mass is a measure of the amount of substance or matter of an object. The SI unit of mass is kilogram, the symbol is kg. The initial is the reluctance of a mass to change its current state, either at rest or in uniform speed. Initial of an object is dependent on its mass. The larger the mass, the larger the initial. It is more difficult to stop a moving bus than to stop a moving bicycle. Due to inertia, the driver and the passengers in a moving car continue to move forward when a sudden brake is applied, hence they will fall forward. Similarly, the driver and the passengers in a stationary car will stay stationary when the driver suddenly accelerates the car, hence they will fall backward. The diagram illustrates how initial work. This bus suddenly stops. The passengers continue to move to the front, hence they fall to the front. This bus suddenly starts moving. The passengers continue to stay at rest, hence they fall to the back. Let's talk about weight. Gravitational force is the force that exists between two masses. It pulls the two masses together. This diagram illustrates the gravitational force. We have two masses here, M1 and M2. There is a gravitational force that pulls M1 to M2. At the same time, there is also a gravitational force that pulls M2 to M1. This natural phenomenon is known as Gravity occurs between all masses. For example, gravitational force between the sun and the earth, and the earth and the moon. The gravitational force acting on an object towards the earth is called weight. Weight is a vector quantity. Its direction is from the center of the object towards the center of the earth. The SI unit for weight is Newton, symbol N. Gravitational field strength. Gravitational field is the area around the Earth that all objects experience gravitational force. Gravitational field strength, G, is the gravitational force acting per unit mass. Hence, gravitational field strength equals Gravitational force over mass. G equals Fg over m. Hence, the weight W is mass times gravitational field strength, where W equals to mg. Gravitational field strength is a vector quantity. Gravitational field strength is a vector quantity its direction at any point is the same as the direction of the gravitational force acting on a unit mass located at that point. So this diagram illustrates the gravitational field of the Earth. The arrow indicates the direction of the force that a mass will experience in the gravitational field of the Earth. The SI unit for G is meters per second square or newtons per kg. The value of G varies depending on location. The further away the place is from the center of gravity, the weaker the gravitational field strength, hence the smaller the value of G. Usually, we assume G as a constant value of 10 meters per second squared. Now, let's look at this example. A scientist measures the weight of an object to be 248.5 newton at the location of 20 meters above the sea level. 
given that the mass of the object is 25 kilograms. A. Calculate the gravitational field strength at this location. B. The scientist measures the weight of the object again at another location, which is 2,500 meters above the sea level. The weight measured is 237.5 newtons. 1. Explain why there is a loss of weight compared to the first measurement. 2. Calculate the weight of a mass of 30 kilograms at this new location. You can pause the video and try to answer the question. Now, let's look at the solution. We know that W equals to mg, hence g is W over m. So, the weight here is 248.5 divided by 25, and we get 9.94 newtons per kg. For B, part 1, the new location, which is 2,500 meters above the sea level, is further away from the center of the Earth compared to the previous location, which is 20 meters above the sea level. The gravitational field strength is weaker at the new location, hence the weight is less at this location. G is W over M. We find the new G where the W is 237.5 over 25 kilograms and we get 9.5 newtons per kg. Therefore, the weight for the second mass is 30 times 9.5 and we get 285 newtons. Mass versus weight. Here is the comparison between the mass and the weight. Mass is a measure of the amount of matter in an object, while the weight is the gravitational force acting on an object in a gravitational field. Mass is not dependent on its location. On the other hand, weight depends on its location in a gravitational field. Mass is a scalar quantity and weight is a vector quantity. Mass is measured by using a beam balance while weight is measured by using a spring balance. Here is a picture of beam balance and this is a spring balance. Let's look at this example. The mass of a spaceship is 5,000 kilograms on the surface of the Earth. The gravitational field strength, G, is measured to be 10 newtons per kg at this location. A. Calculate the weight of the spaceship. And B. The spaceship is launched and lands on the surface of planet Alpha. It is found that the value of G on the surface of planet Alpha is four times the value of G on Earth. 1. Determine the mass of the spaceship on planet Alpha. 2. Determine the mass of the spaceship on planet Alpha. You can pause the video and try to answer the question yourself. Now, let's look at the solution. A. W equals mg. So the mass is 5000 kg and g is 10. We will get 50,000 newtons. For V part 1, the mass of an object will be the same regardless of its location. Therefore, the mass for this spaceship is still the same, which is 5000 kilograms. So W equals mg. The new weight will be 5,000 times 4 times 10 because the question mentioned that the G for planet Alpha is 4 times the G for Earth. Therefore, you get 200,000 newtons. Or you can represent it in standard form, 2 times 10 to the power 5 newtons. Density, rho, is the amount of mass per unit volume.
The formula for density is rho equals m over v. The SI unit for density is kilogram per cubic meter. The symbol is kg meters to the power of negative 3. The volume of an irregular shaped object can be found by measuring the volume of water displaced when the object is fully submerged in water. This diagram illustrates how to conduct this experiment. We need a displacement can. An irregularly shaped object is submerged in a water. So the water, when displaced, it is filled into a beaker. Then we can measure the volume of the water using a measuring cylinder. An object with density less than the density of water will float on the surface of the water. An object with density more than the density of water will sink to the bottom of the water. A ship which is made from metals can float on water because its average density is less than the density of water. So we have the formula average density equals total mass over total volume. You can look at this diagram. You can see that there is a big empty space at the bottom of the ship. So the ship, the shape of the ship increases the total volume of the ship without increase, increasing its total mass. Now let's look at this example. A cube made from unknown material has size of 5 cm and a mass of 30 grams. A. Calculate its density in kg per meter cube. B. Another cube made from the same material has sides three times as long as the previous cube. Calculate its mass in kg. You can pause the video and answer the question. Alright, now let's look at the solution. We know that the formula rho equals to m over v. For this case, the mass is 30 grams, then volume is 5 cm times 5 cm times 5 cm. And since they want us to leave the unit in kg per meter cube, then we have to convert the parameter here into kg and meters. Therefore, we have 0 0.03 kg over 0 0.05 meters times 0 0.05 meters times 0 0.05 meters. And we'll get the answer is 240 kg per meter cube. For B, we use the same formula, rho equals to m over v, and mass is rho times v. Then the rho is the same because they are using the same material, which is 240, and times with 0 0.15 times 0 0.15 times 0 0.15, and we get 0.81 kilograms. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Do you have any question or doubts to us? Feel free to write down in the comments. I would love to hear from you. Do you like this video? Please don't forget to like it and share it. Alternatively, you can also enroll this full revision course at Udemy. At Udemy, you can track your learning more effectively. Download my notes in printable PDF form. Take a summative quiz at the end of each chapter. Get your first hand updated contents from me. Get quicker response from me and many more. You can get all these benefits at a very affordable price. It is one time payment, no recurring fees no hidden cost. This saves you thousands of dollars on expensive tuition fees and revision crash causes. And most importantly, your precious time. Finally, you can do your revision anytime you like, anywhere you prefer. All is available within your fingertips. Check out the description below this video.
and click on the enrollment link to register the course at discounted price. Alright, until then, see you in the next video. Have a great day ahead.